Hey guys. So we have to get stuff for dinner. How's everybody doing? How many does this one have? I seen a new, what you call it? I'm not gonna worry about it. Anyways, I'm gonna get stuff for dinner. And then, uh, I don't know what I'm cooking, so don't ask me, because I don't know. I'm just gonna figure it out as I go. Uh, I want to do, I want to do something good. Getting these babies ready for it back to school, as y'all know. Where's all the dinners? I think they moved them. Okay, so I'm looking for easy stuff for during the week. Mr. Perry said not to make it difficult, so I'm not. Ow. I'm gonna get these babies some fries. But. I wanna have something, I don't know. That's one of them days, ladies. We gotta, just gonna figure it out and then go. I think they moved them up front. Trying to get laundry done, everything back in order before tomorrow gets here. I've already broken a nail today. Hey everybody, I don't know where they're moving all the cold section to. I don't see it. Miss Kim, you're not blocked on there. I don't know why you can't find it. I don't I don't know. To be honest, I've already looked and on your page because I don't, on yours, it doesn't let me message you back. Yours says, because I guess we are not following our friends, you have yours set up so I can't inbox you. But I've already looked, you're not blocked. Beverly says, Amber, you have so much food at your house, why do you have to go to the store? Uh, because it's not the food I want to cook. So, I come to find the stuff that I want to cook. Because the stuff I have at the house, I don't want hamburger meat. Uh, I don't have any more chicken breast that I want. And so, I got to come and get what I need. So, that's what that is. And there's some other things I got to get, like soap and, you know, all the fancy stuff that we need. <coughs> so, yeah, that's why. It's not... It's that is what I'm doing. Yes, I am. Okay, so I got everybody soap. Uh, I'm not adding more of this to my freezer. The stuff that I have in my freezer, I don't want to cook it. So I'm not going to cook it. I'm getting something else to cook. Those are for like big meals. I'm not making no big meal tonight. Sorry, I'm not. At least I'm being honest. I think it all depends on what you want to cook. And I don't want, I don't want to cook it. Because I don't want hamburger meat. There's a lot of stuff I don't want, so.
I don't know. You know, everybody has their own opinion. So, I think it's all up to what you, um, what, whatever you want to cook. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think that there's really that big of a, my opinion. It all depends on, I don't know, it all depends on you. I was looking, I seen that they had a new head and shoulders thing out, but I'm not finding it here. I guess we don't need it. Miss Amy, it's so hot, you can't even go outside and barbecue. It is really hot. Thank you, Miss Lisa. Yeah, like when the kids go back to school, y'all, I'm not trying to... I know a lot of people are like, well, I mean, you have all day at home by yourself. I honestly don't. When I get done doing what I need to do, I don't want to be at home. I don't want to be at home. Like, I know some people think that that's mean, but I have a life too, you know, and I'm not going to sit at the house. I'm sorry. So I'm going to make sure, like, when it's time to go get them, then I can come home, either have a meal before or afterwards, you know, have it start cooking it. And when they get home, I'm sorry, I'm not going to. I am not going to, oh, we need this aisle. <laughs> I don't want to make no big heavy duty meals and all the X, Y, and Z. I don't. I'm sorry. I'm not that kind of wife. I'm really not. So I'm being honest. I'm not that type of wife. So I'm not even going to lie to you. I, I thought about it. But I'm not making no five course meals and no, I'm not doing all that. I'm sorry, I think there's, that's not what I wanna do. So I'm gonna make my life simple, easy, and ready to go. You know, that's my opinion. I think it's all up to what you wanna do because it's your life. And me personally, I don't want to spend my life cooking. So everybody's their own, you know, whatever works for you, it works for you. It doesn't, you know, we don't have to, we don't have to be the same in that, in that department. I respect you for being, you know, somebody that cooks a heavy course meal every day. I mean, hey, hats off to you. You're amazing. But I'm just not that type of person. And I just think you need few food for fuel. And after that, it is what it is. And I think you, you make all that extra food and all that stuff. It just gives you more time to sit there and eat it. You make something quick and it's time to go. No in between, no extra. You eat what I put on your plates and you get up and you find something else to do. That's my opinion. But I never told y'all my opinion was right, so whatever. Um, I'm sorry. I can just be honest. I don't. I don't. I don't even want my kids to look at you. Look at food like, oh, you know, got a five course meal, and you know, no, I don't want that. I want them to know that, hey, I gotta have this because my stomach is gonna be hungry. But I need to eat it and go. I don't need to sit here and, what is mom cooking tonight? No. Whatever I put on there, it's just a fuel to get you to the next day. There's nothing in between. And so, I am looking for, I was telling Mr. Perry we could do, uh, he's, Mr. Perry got that pasta the other day from Sam, so he's not eating what, me and the kids are eating, and I don't even know where they moved the new cold section to. But I don't see it. I'm gonna get me, I think I'm gonna do sandwiches tonight because I'm gonna get turkey breast. Uh, they can have sandwiches, some chips, and call it a night. Or something easy. That's just my opinion. I'm gonna make me some um, 
what do you call them? I'm not gonna eat bread. I'm, I already have my flat bread, so I'm gonna do my flat flat bread and turkey. Uh, yes, ma'am. Can I get a, a half a pound of uh, sun dried tomato turkey on a number one? Uh, yes, ma'am. And then let me get uh, a half a pound of mozzarella on a number one. All right, thank you. And I already have these at the house. Wait. So we have these and these, but I have some of these. But I think that's what I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have me a turkey sandwich with tomatoes. I'm gonna get some tomatoes and lettuce and have me just a nice turkey sandwich. The kids can have a sandwich or they can, well, figure, I'm not making no big old dinner. I got too much to do, too much to do. Uh, Miss Karen, um, I was doing, um, I was telling Mr. Perry, so like the meals that we came up with, you know, the stuff that the kids will eat, I still want it to be like where, like we did tacos last week, we did chalupas, that way they're not time consuming, but they're still solid meals, you know what I mean? But I'm talking about tonight, tonight I'm not making no solid meal, uh, but, like, this week, I was telling him, you know, uh, I asked the kids, like, what are the, some of the ideas they wanted? As you know, my kids are like, they want, um, what is the one with the noodles, the meat, the tomato sauce? I don't know what it's called. Um, goulash. Nevaeh said tacos. Javani wants popcorn chicken. So, I'm just trying to put their meals, like, what are some easy meals that we can do that we, you know, because I don't, I mean, me personally, like I was telling Mr. Perry, I want to, you know, we're cutting back. We're getting everything the way we want it. So I think it's just one day at a time. So like spaghetti and stuff like that, that's not bad. I mean, it's just easy, but I know a lot of people are like, no, you need to make X, Y, and Z. And no, 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 I'm not doing all that. I was thinking about me even making hamburgers. I think that would be like, a cooked hamburger with some lettuce, tomato on it, some fries, or, you know, they could have chips. I don't know, just something simple, like nothing so X-rated. <laughs> That's what I was thinking, like sandwiches, you know what I mean? Goulash, yes, it is. Make chicken salad or uh, spaghetti. See, Miss Tracy gets it. I eat wraps usually once a day, sometimes twice. I have lost 75 pounds by not making huge meals and cutting carbs. See, she understands the struggle. Like I said, everybody's not going to understand it. We don't have to. I mean, everybody's different. But I'm not going to lie to y'all. A lot of it that I have lost is honestly from just cutting back. Staying away from the table. Like, it's honest. And I find that I find it like if, like when I had my uh, my procedure done, right? Like the way Grandma was like the pork chops, and you find yourself indulging in more because it's there and it's comfort food. And then after that, you don't have your energy and all that. You're ready for a nap. You know what I mean? So I don't I don't want I don't want that. You know what I mean? Like I want like even what I'm giving them like in the mornings. You know I try to. I let Mr. Perry do his thing in the morning unless it's like, okay, I'm just gonna make them breakfast tacos or something like that. So that way they start their day off with a health, you know, with a solid meal. And then whatever they eat at school, and then the time they get home, I think it's already so close to bedtime. Why make this big old, you know, this big old wedding supper when I just, it's me personally, you know what I mean? I want, I want my kids not to love food like their mom does. And that's what got me to where I'm at today. So, I don't want them to love food like that. I want them to know that food is just energy. And as long as you get what you need and don't overdo it, you'll be just fine. But it's gonna take baby steps. It's gonna take baby steps. But yeah, that's just my opinion. Grilled cheese and fries. That's what I was thinking too, because I already know Nevaeh's not gonna like, uh, Nevaeh likes turkey, but she's not a big turkey eater. So I was thinking I'm gonna get some American cheese and I can make them grilled cheese and they can have french fries because I'm going to put them in the air fryer. And then I can have uh, my wraps. And that way everybody wins. 
You know what I mean? I'm sorry. I just, I don't want to let go of what I do. You know what I mean? And it's, I'm honestly teaching myself not to love food. That's what I'm trying to do. So, I need to try a new cheese. Uh, I like mozzarella because it's only 50 calories. I'm not going to lie. Mozzarella is the best cheese for you. And it's, be, I mean, I know that there's more, but I'm telling you my opinion. I eat mozzarella because it's, it's honestly, it's only 50 calories. So when I put my, my, uh, I'll show y'all right now. The turkey's only like 75 or 50 calories. I think it's 60 calories. So 60 calories plus my wrap bread is 60 calories. And then you put a 50 calorie mozzarella on there. It's only about a hundred and something calories. So you can have two wraps. Plus you a small bag of chips for 120. I mean, it's like a 500 calories. Thank you, ma'am. So like, let me show you. So there is only, oh, it's 50 calories. So it's 50 calories and two ounces. You're not gonna get two ounces in those flatbreads. So, and then the mozzarella is 90. I thought it was 50, but yeah, it's 90 for one ounce. And one ounce, honestly, is almost two. It's two slices. So you don't need two slices, you know what I mean? But it's just another way to look at things. That's all I'm saying. But everybody's different. I respect you. If you're one of them, you know, you enjoy your food, babe, enjoy it. It's yours. It's not my right or anybody else's right to tell you how to eat. And it's not. It is not my right. <laughs> Pinomino cheese for lunch. Who doesn't want a 90 calories? sandwich for lunch come on now I'm sorry <laughs> I know I make a lot of people mad but I just think that everybody's different we shouldn't have to be the same but I'm about to get the rest of the stuff I already got the cheese um, and then when I get to the house I will see y'all there love y'all